It's a great concept, but <laughs> this is a flawed, this is flawed thinking. This just isn't, you know, I'm not going to get back till midnight at this rate. It is unspeakably cold this morning. Uh, now, uh, electric vehicles. Um, if you go to a showroom and go and buy an electric vehicle, uh, generally the range which the manufacturer says the vehicle can do on one charge from full to flat is a little bit ambitious, shall we say. So, uh, this BMW i3, for instance, uh, manufacturer says this particular model will do 153 miles, I think, on one charge. And it's claimed that the real world mileage, so like in normal conditions, is 140. Uh, so we, we've got a simple test that we're going to perform. Now, uh, trade skills for you. They reached out to me and they said, um, we challenge you to drive this BMW i3 from their training center here in Gatwick up the M23. Uh, we're going to go clockwise around the M25. We're going to hook onto the M1 and we're going to end up finishing, hopefully, at their other training center, which is in Coventry. Total distance, 137 miles. Now, the real world conditions this vehicle says it can do is 140. Has anybody's raced this? Just looking in the back of the car, they've left the, uh, they've left the charging cable in the back, so I'm not sure if that's uh, their way of saying I won't make it, I don't know, but uh, yeah, these cables, these are like, if you go onto eBay or somewhere, these are like 300 quid, they are huge money. Um, in fact, I've got a feel, I don't know, can you remove these while, while, because I've never owned an electric vehicle, can you remove these while they're charging? Because, I mean, a car could just be charging up and you could basically just nick the cable and sell it on eBay for a hundred quid, you know? There's also no tow rope in here, I've noticed, so, um, not that I don't... Do you know what? Let's just get going and find out. <laughs> Westwood Way. Westwood Way was selected. No house numbers are available for this street. Do you want to start route guidance? Yes. Route guidance has been started. How do you zoom into this thing? Ah, okay. Right. We're ready. Right. So we've got to put it in drive. Are we moving? <laughs> okay. We're good? Can I just put the steering wheel up? All right. Yeah. I feel like I'm sitting on the toilet. Whisper quiet. Yeah, no wrong turns either. I cannot make any wrong turns. Fucking meow. <laughs> this is also it's like a little go-kart. Okay, nice slow acceleration. This is a clever balance, because you've got to have just enough just enough throttle to, to get up to speed, but not too much that you waste energy and then have to hit the brakes. This is a, very, this is a clever race. It's a bit boring, mind of you. <laughs> you can't cane it or anything. You've got to be really, really... Everybody else is just driving past, you know? Right. I'm going to put my seat back and relax. Oh, the, the regen braking is really impressive. You've literally, you haven't got to touch the brakes. It's very, very clever. That's very impressive. I have not had to touch the brakes to stop at all. I must admit, if this is the future of electric cars, it is quite impressive. Bang the cruise control. Oh yeah, this is the life, yeah. All I need now is a, a vegan sausage roll and that's it. <laughs> right, so yeah. You know exactly where you are in the country then? Uh, we are... <laughs> Uh, we're just coming up to Junction 17 on the M25. Junction 17? Yeah, that's the Rickmansworth turn-off. That's where we are currently, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. And according to the chat map, how many miles to go? Okay, we've got 93 miles to go and it's saying I've got 100 miles left on my battery. So it is it is starting to tighten up a little bit. <laughs> I'm not as optimistic yeah. as I once was. It's starting, the gap's closing yeah. now. Okay. Well, you're learning as you go. That's good. <laughs> Very much, yes. <laughs> Eventually. Fucking meow. 
All right. That was a journey. It did it. We got about 10% charge left. That is an awesome car, I won't lie. That is impressive. EV technology isn't 100% there yet. But if that's anything to go on, this is where the future is going to go. This is without a doubt. That is, I've just managed to drive from Gatwick all the way to Coventry on one charge without any issues at all. And there's other cars out there now which can do, you know, Teslas, they can do double what this can. And this already is a very capable little car. So if the technology, if this is anything to go by, I'd say this is pretty impressive. What I've also noticed just while I'm here finishing up, I didn't, this is like all EV stuff. This has got a frunk, right? It's a front trunk. I never knew this. And of course it makes sense because it hasn't got an engine. So you press this, spend 20 minutes fucking around trying to figure out how to open the bonnet. And it's just a little boot. It's a little frunk. Look at it. <laughs> it's so cool. Six and a half hours later. Okay, that clearly does not fit in there, really. This is the problem. This is why the infrastructure isn't quite there yet. We're on the way back to Gatwick now, and I've now got, I've got 21% battery left. I have to charge up. And uh, I don't have the subscription key to be able to activate this pod. I'm now basically in a hotel car park in the middle of fucking nowhere with 20%, what am I supposed to do? I should just drag an extension lead into the reception, I guess. I basically, you've just missed it. I basically had to give some random bloke a tenner to use his subscription card to swipe that fob so it could activate it so I could then charge the car. And of course, you've got multiple different charge points. And of course, with multiple charge points, you all need to have like a subscription card for each of those you can't just turn up to a charge point and just start using it. Like, you know, like on the tube with contactless, that's what it should be, which I think is what they're rolling out, but it isn't everywhere yet. So the technology is great. And also it's just gone four o'clock. It's saying that if I stay hooked up to this charger, it'll be ready by about quarter to eight. So I am basically not gonna get home till midnight now. So I like the, the technology is, is there and it's, it's progressing. But when you've got to pay some random dude a tenner just to be able to swipe his, you know, there's a few flaws in the plan, but yeah, we're going to go into that bar and go and get a drink and we'll see you a little later on tonight. It just noticed, right? It says the battery will be fully charged at quarter to eight. So it's quarter past four now. So we've got, a, we've got a few hours of drinking or whatever here to do to burn some time. Little note here, after 90 minutes, an overstay of £10 per hour applies. So basically, I can't stay here to charge the... It really, this system is flawed, okay? It's a great concept, but <laughs> this is a flawed, this is flawed thinking. This just isn't, you know, I'm not going to get back till midnight at this rate. I'm going to finish this Coke and we're now going to head off. And the plan is there is, apparently there's a supercharge point. Uh, on the M40 southbound. I've just signed up to the subscription and apparently I think we're going to take a risk and we're going to stop there, hope it's not in use and we can charge up quicker and get home faster in theory because this is only a little seven kilowatt charger what we've stopped at. There's a lot of ifs and buts here but this is the... yeah. Right, it is now six o'clock and we've managed to come, we're down the M40 southbound and we've managed to find one of these 50 kilowatt DC chargers, which we've now plugged into, which will say will be fully charged in about less than, it's less than an hour, it's about half an hour it's gonna be charged. So we've now got to get a coffee and uh, yeah, we'll be back in a bit. <laughs> right, it is now half eight. We've just got back. Um, I've got, I think 7% battery left. So I'm gonna leave them to charge up. Summary, fantastic motor. I do think the world of electric vehicles, that is the future. There is no doubt about it, that's the future. This was only possible if we had, a, if you've got access to the 50 kilowatt motorway charging points, if you're going up the motorway, 
then it's a viable source of motoring. If you haven't got access to those and it's just a seven kilowatt pods, you're out of luck for motorway driving. But if you've got access to the 50 kilowatt ones, fab. Yeah, that's basically it. Fab, uh, patron, um, whatever. <laughs> See you next week.